morning. Today is Tuesday. It's Cinco de Mayo. Very exciting. It's my stepdaughter's birthday. Um, and it's a, right now it's a beautiful day. It's going to be kind of colder today though. So part of farm week, we are going to do a cow. Um, actually, we're going to make a few cows. Um, one is going to be bigger and the other one's going to fit in our barn. So let's get started. Um, let's see. Oh, let me show you some uh, cows that I drew. Um, this is one, my first cow that I drew. Um, I drew it with pen, and he's wearing sunglasses because he's in incognito. So let me spell that out so you can look it up so you can see what it means. It's like he's in disguise. So let's look up this word. Oh, oh. That there. Okay, incognito. Incognito. Cow. So that's what he is. He's wearing sunglasses and they're kind of cool. Um, and then my other cow I drew is this guy. He is a cow in a moo moo. Now, a moo moo, obviously cows say moo, they go moo, um, was the style of a dress back in the 60s, I think. It was like a tent dress. Um, and they had lots of flowers on them. Um, they were kind of weird looking. Um, so this is my cow in a moo moo. So I just want to show you those. I have fun drawing little animals and putting them in goofy positions or with doing silly things. So, okay, so let's get started. This is the cow that we're gonna draw initially. Um, he's got, we've got a square here, um, kind of a half a circle. We have an oval looking thing that looks like an egg. If we turn it upside down, it's kind of an egg shape, like that. And then we have um, some ovals for his ears, kind of diamond shapes, some nice circles for his eyes. And then these spots, this is a dairy cow, and a lot of them are brown and white spots. Did you see the cows that I uh, posted on Class Dojo last night? Those were from my sister's um, neighbors um, at her house in Georgia. So I thought those would be fun to post. Okay, and then after we draw him or her, um, we're gonna draw a little guy that will fit in our our um, barn that we made yesterday. So this is what I did. I made a little one and I cut it out with scissors. So I'm not sure if you have scissors. Um, but somebody probably in your house has some scissors. Um, so that, he fits out here, he's pretty big. I realized I made him too big. So then I made another one. This was actually so much fun to make. Um, and he's smaller, he's looking at the door. And he's also, let's see what he's doing. He's looking out here. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love it. Um, and then, <laughs> He's here, but he's so big. He doesn't fit. He fits over here, doesn't he? Let me see, can you see that? Yep. Um, but he certainly doesn't fit here. So when we do a little one, we have to measure him to make sure that he fits in this thing, the stall. Okay, so let's get started. This was surprisingly pretty easy to draw. Um, my back is hurting me. Let me get a pillow. I don't know why. Oh, this pillow. It's to push back on. Let's see. Oh, that feels better. Nice. Okay. Yeah, much better. Hmm. Let me get my glasses on and let's get started. So we're gonna use um, a drawing pencil. Uh, we're gonna use an eraser. Uh, the colors are really not, we don't have a lot of colors at all. Uh, we're gonna use definitely brown. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go. Um, brown. Where's my brown? Here's my brown. Use brown. Pretty yellow for um, his snout is a combination of brown and yellow. And I think that's it because his eyes are black. Oh, if we have a black crayon, which I know we do, or a black pencil, we could do that. But otherwise, we can just use, um, like, I couldn't find my black pencil, so I just used this, my drawing pencil for that. Okay, so let's get started. Stay. I'm going to put this over here so I can look at it. And let's see, I could draw on the back of this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'll use this for later. I hate wasting paper. Okay, so that goes over there. Okay. All right. The shuttle today. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to draw his shoulders. See, this is looking at a cow from the front. And oh, I can't see. I should have done that. So we're looking at his head, and this is like his chest, and then this is his back, but you see his back um, from the front. So um, this is like the back of his, his um, like is where his butt is. So that's what that is. But you can see it from, if you look straight on. So that's what we're going to do. This is pretty, just a lot of um, shapes. Like you could see that this is like a, almost a half of a circle. Okay, so let's get started. So the head is going to be like up here, like here, and then the shoulders and the view of his butt is going to be back here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a square right here. But it's going to be a soft square, um, which means its corners are not hard, they're softer. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to draw... See how the corners are sharp, or not sharp, I'm sorry, they're soft. Okay. How's that look? Does that look okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's his snout, and then we're going to put his nostrils. His nostrils are so easy. They are, this is a backward C, and this is a um, regular C. So those are his nostrils. And then we're going to draw his lower, this is part of his snout is his, um, his mouth, the top of his mouth and his nose. So we're going to draw his, the bottom of his mouth. It's just going to be like a rectangle right here. There. Cool. Okay. Can you see the cow coming out already? I think I can. That tastes good. Okay. All right. Now we're going to draw his head. So his head is sort of the shape of an oval, like an egg, an upside down egg. So um, let's start up here. Can you see that? I can't tell. Where am I? Yeah, you can see that. Okay. We're going to draw like that. And then another line like that. Does that look okay? Nah. Let's make this a little flatter. The top of his head is a little flatter. Like that. Oh. I'm gonna erase that. Where's my other eraser that I really like? this top. It's more of a flat head. Okay. Alright. Now his eyes. He's got cows have beautiful eyes. Um, look back on the class that Joe that I posted yesterday. I can't show it to you now because it's on my phone. Um, it's this beautiful big 
brown eyes. So his eyes are pretty much, they're like circles and they kind of stick out. So we're gonna draw a circle like that. More of an oval, probably more of an oval. And then another one over here. Did you see how I measured that? Or how I did that last time to make sure everything is lines up? I take another pencil and I could see that this isn't lined up. See how this is going up too far? So let's just kind of make that, bring it down a little bit. And then, um, and we'll fix that, I'll erase that. His eyes are gonna start right here. See how I measure that? And they're gonna end right here. So that just helps me with placement. There, okay. How's that look? Then he's got um, ears. They have really big ears. Let me show you the drawing. Oh, my ear. <laughs> their, their ears kind of go straight out. So, um, Let's see, so we're gonna, and they're right, they're close to his eyes. So let's make um, kind of diamond shapes like that. But like a soft diamond shape. And then another one over here. And then we're gonna have a fold, a fold. All right. Then um, we'll fix those eyes. Uh, we're gonna kind of draw some lines here. And we're doing that because this will be brown. I forgot to do that. And this will be white. So this part is brown and this is white. So let's make us, let's fix his eyes because all we did was kind of circles. So we're gonna um, put some eyelids in like that. And we're gonna put some eyelashes because they really do have very pretty eyes. Some eyelashes there. Okay, and then another oval. And then another oval. So this is gonna be, this is the iris, the first circle. And the middle circle is the pupil. So the pupil of your eye, or a cow's eye, or anybody's eye, is the really black part. And then this iris is going to be brown. I think uh, they have really dark brown eyes. And then we're going to do a little bit of a square for the highlight. So let's do that on this side. So let's do another oval. It's going to be the iris. And then another pupil too small and then a little square okay now let's draw his chest or her chest um, her chest um, is just gonna be kind of a line that comes down like that and then another one like that can you see that cow coming towards us oh I can see it and then let's do his or her, we'll call it a her, just because I keep switching back and forth. So we will call this, let's see, this would be, we need to name this cow. Um, a popular name for cows is Elsie. So her name is Elsie, Elsie the cow. We're gonna make Elsie's butt, um, we're gonna do that. It's kind of a half circle like that. How's that look? Oh, that looks great. And then we're gonna draw, cause she spots dairy, a lot of dairy cows. I should have told you what kind they were, but I don't know. Other than they're dairy cows. Um, have these wonderful spots of brown. So we're just gonna, and this is the fun part, cause you just kinda yeah, make these little blobs of color. Let's see. Okay, then we're gonna get start coloring. Because we've got two of these to do, so I wanna um, make sure we have enough time. So, first thing I'm gonna do 
is this snout is a, a lighter color of brown. It's kind of a yellow brown, which is gold. So initially, I'm gonna color it with yellow, just back and forth. And this is just a big square. There's not a lot of detail in this cow, which is gonna make it easier. And we're not doing a background. You could if you want on this one, um, but we're not, um, or I'm not today. If you'd like, you can go back later, color it brown. No, not brown. What, what background would it be? Probably blue. Okay, let's see. Here's my brown. This is the brown I want it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just very lightly back and forth. And see how that's changing? It's kind of changing to a gold. sharpen this. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to color this brown. This whole section is going to be brown. But we're not going to cover over his eyes, are we? No. So we're going to circle that. What part of the eye is going to be brown? It's going to be the iris. This part right here. So we'll do that while we lay it brown. Okay. Then we just want to color this back and forth. Cool, I like that. And then his ear, since we're over on the side, let's outline it first. And then remember, we have this fold. Okay, so then back and forth. We don't want to get, we don't want to cover the eye. Now our, our eyelashes kind of disappeared, didn't they? So we'll just go back in. And we have a dark, like black pencil. And redo those. Cool. We want to do this side. Like that, go back and forth. Has anybody seen a cow ever? Um, if you drive on the turnpike, if you ever go west, which is towards um, Ohio, <laughs> which is where I go a lot, because I'm from Ohio, there are lots of cows, um, not literally on the turnpike, but they're on farms that um, you could see from the turnpike. So we always look for cows when my son was little. And closer to here, there's a lot of farms in New Jersey um, that if you go to the shore. I don't know. Do you see cows on the way to the shore? I'm not really a shore person, so. Okay. Okay. This looks good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to do his eye. Brown. Let's finish his eye. His eyes are bothering me. So let's find a really dark um, use either your drawing pencil or if you have black, if you're doing this with crayons, I know you have a black. And remember, we're not going to cover that, that little square of highlight. In other words, there. Oh, that looks so much better now. Yep. It bothered me when his eyes, pupils were white. It was kind of freaking me out. There. That looked good. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, then let's um, let's outline him or her. It's a her. We already established her name is Elsie. And let's color this in. Okay, I'm gonna outline this. I 
haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm just having tea. I always have cereal in the morning. Cheerios with blueberries. I haven't had that yet. I'm a little hungry, so the tea is kind of filling me up. Oh, it's picking up all the stuff. And I keep saying I'm going to clean up, and I don't. Okay. Let's outline his, uh, or her, I should say her, snout. We've done snouts before. Not of cows, but we've done, what other animals have we done? Uh, we did, definitely we did a bear. Um, well, we did a bear uh, before school um, closed. I think we did a bear in third grade, and we did a snout. What other animals have we done that have snouts? Hmm. We did a lion, and I know a lion has a snout. Uh, have we done a dog? So we have to do a dog. There's, the problem is there's so many different types of dogs, and they all look so different. I think we'll draw Roxy. Oh, I love it. Does that look good? Yeah, this would look better if we had blue in the background, but we're, we're not going to do that. Um, you could do that on your own. So what we're going to do, let me, actually, let me look at the clock, because I do tend to go over. Okay, so we're going to look, and we want to make... A, the same thing the exact same way and you can see this is pretty easy to draw that will fit in this barn so um, this I drew but he's pretty big that is a huge huge Elsie um, she doesn't fit in here at all she takes up too much room so I got smart the second time I did it, and I measured it because this paper that I'm using, um, you could see through. It's you know I could trace. So what I did was I took a piece of paper. I could use this. I opened it up because I know I know the cow's got to fit in here. So I made sure that he does. And the way I did that was I just took a piece of paper. And can you see, I don't know if you could see. Yeah, you can. You can see that there, where's my drawing pencil? What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay. You can see that square where he's got to fit. So let's draw a square right there. Okay, so our cow head, in order to fit in the barns, got it. It has to fit in here. And the biggest thing in the cow's head are what? What sticks out the most? His ears. His ears stick out because they go sideways. So we have to make sure that whatever we draw, his ears are going to stay inside there. So let's get started. So remember we drew a little square for his snout. So... We're going to draw a little square, and I'll, I'll raise my hand, so you, or not raise my hand, I'll keep looking up. So, there's, that's, a, oh, that's not a square, that's a terrible square. Um, you know what, this pencil's too dark. Let's say, 2B. Um, Alright, we'll use it. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, your, the tr pencils that you have, that I gave you are much better. Okay, so let's draw that square like that. Okay, is that better? And it's got soft. And then it's got the nostrils. We want to draw those C's like that. And then we want to draw his lower mouth. Okay? 
Okay, then the head, the head is, you can see, I was trying to draw it over there, um, is kind of an egg shape. Actually, you know what it looks like? It looks like a light bulb to me. Doesn't that look like a light bulb? <laughs> then um, let's draw his ears just to make sure they fit in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they fit in. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be a hard one. Okay. Now yeah, that's fine. Then his eyes. Remember his eyes were like here. Here. And then he's got those stripes. Or she. It's a she. Cool. And then his shoulders. Or his chest, I should say. Or her chest. Why do I keep saying that? And then his butt, her butt, is back there. How's that look? Looks pretty good. It will look better when we color it. Okay, so what colors do we need? We really just need a yellow and brown. So let's do the yellow part. The yellow is just over the snout, very lightly. And then we want to do the ears. Let's outline this. Let's sharpen that. That's pretty dull. Color with co the problem with colored pencils. I love colored pencils, but you have to sharpen them a lot because they're really soft. Okay. Do that eye. And we'll do the black part later. Oh, and the flashlight. Okay. I color that in. Now we're gonna do that. Don't go over the eye now, because the part of the eye has to be white. There. And then like that. Let's see. So we want to color this part. And this we have to be a little more careful. We can't go back and forth, back and forth, because it's really small. It's hard to draw small. It really is. This is hard to do. That's why I wanted to draw. It bigger the first time just to get practice. Okay, oh, we need to do those spots. Crazy spots. Oh, they're working back there. Must be, yeah. They're building houses. And they went away. Oh, when they closed them down, but now they're back. So it's, sometimes it's really loud. And Roxy, my dog, likes to go back there now because when they weren't working, it was just a big empty construction lot. We would take her back there just to be nosy. And now she's gotten used to going back there, so we can't let her do that. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, now. We need to get those eyes. Now the dot, the dot that we do in the eyes, that's going to be hard because it's so small. I was able to do it. It looks like a donut. See the little dot there? It's going to be really hard because it's so small. Cool. I like it. Yep. Okay. So if you have a scissors, um, you can cut it out. I have my scissors. Do these look familiar? These are exactly like the ones I have at school. And they're perfect for me. They're the perfect size and they're left-handed. And I'm left-handed. Who's left-handed? I think we had some left-handed students. Um, I have to take off my glasses when I cut this. I'm going to just be really careful. How's our cutting skills? And if you are not a good cutter, and um, and your drawing's really good. Um, ask somebody who's a good cutter in your house to help you cut it. Let's see. This is hard because it's so small. Mm. Let's see. Now tomorrow, what are we doing? We're doing chickens. Well, we're doing roosters. So 
specifically, which are chickens. They're just male chickens. Um, my neighbor has chickens, so I'm going to post a video later on today of us, the chickens kind of walking around. They look like they're talking. Um, they probably are. And then I'm also going to post um, some pictures of some roosters that my friend Mike Doyle has. He lives um, in New Jersey in farmland and he has roosters. Um, and he sent me some pictures and they're just beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Oh, perfect. He fits there. Oh, and you know what? Let's put this other guy in here. Let's see. Oh, oh I love this. Oh, but you know what? We didn't color this, so that means we have to actually draw the bottom part of the cow, or we make this a solid piece of wood. Let's do that. Well, let's just make that a solid piece of wood. This is so cool. I love this. This is going to be so much fun. And then where's that big guy? Okay, the big guy doesn't fit in here. He fits over here. Oh, I love this. <laughs> He's so big. Oh my goodness gracious. So this was fun. I love this. So then we're going to have the chickens. Where did we say we were going to put the chickens? Um, hmm. We'll have the chickens here and the rooster there. Oh, let's see. Let's make this a little more flat so it sits. Let's fold this paper this way. So let's see. Sit now? Yeah, that sits flat now. All right. So here's this guy goes here. This guy goes here. And this guy goes here. La la, can you see? Him? Oh yeah, oh, cool. I love this. This is so much fun. Okay, so I think tomorrow we're gonna draw a full-size chicken. You know, something on a big piece of paper like this. And then we're go gonna draw um, a little chicken, a rooster, I should say, somewhere in here. We'll put him in here. That's this will be our chicken coop. Um, and then um, what else are we draw? We are drawing uh, pigs. Uh, pig, pig could just be walking somewhere. And um, a cat. The cat will probably be up here. But we'll draw a full size cat and then we'll draw a little one over there. What else are we drawing? Where's my piece of paper? It doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow.